screw this one here. All right. Wowhead. Okay. 8.2.5 PTR development notes. Wardren and Goblin model updates. Firelands time walking. And a B mount. Wow. Holy shit, okay, all right, let's go ahead and take a look at this. This is fucking awesome. All right, so here's the patch notes here. Uh, oh, great. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, first round, 8.2.5 patch notes. Uh, Wargren and Goblins are finally getting new character models, as previewed at BlizzCon. And uh, we've learned that they'll be getting heritage armor soon. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Oh, that's the new Wargren models right there. I mean, I guess that looks okay. Uh, it's a little bit more uh, anthropomorphic, so people that want to have sex with this animal can feel a little bit less weird about it. And uh, that's great. Same with the muscles there. That's really, really good. Uh, let's see. Females, uh, same thing, of course. Uh, let me turn down the music. Apologies for that. There you go. Music should be fine. And uh, goblins here. Oh, wow. That's great. Yeah, that that's really, really nice. Uh, I would like it more if he had gold teeth. Not gold colored teeth, because he already has that, but uh, actual gold teeth, but that's okay. The goblins do look really nice, let's be honest. I, I, I do like them. I, I don't like the female goblins, they just, uh, it's weird to me. Uh, I, I don't like them. And, uh, yeah, overall, I think this is cool. Alright, it's nice. Uh, not a big fan of them, because they're basically, uh, you know, the, the Wargren models in the game are just a vehicle for Blizzard to promote their furry agenda uh, into the game and target children. But, uh, you know, I mean, sometimes you just have to let some things go. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the rest of these. WoW's 15th anniversary. Uh, complete three holiday raids for the Obsidian Worldbreaker mount, and an AVS Battleground for a Stormpike Battle Charger and Frostwolf Snarler. Uh, learn more about the other anniversary rewards and special anniversary box and Ragnaros statue here. I want to buy the Ragnaros statue. Uh, I don't know why I didn't. I, I think Deathwing as a mount is a little bit too much, I'll be honest. Uh, Deathwing is as a mount, I, I don't know, I just think that's like... You know, Deathwing is a mount. I mean, I, I, you know, that's that's a lot. But uh, you know, they should have made it a little bit different than Deathwing. But okay, uh, yeah, way too much. I yeah, it's absurd. But uh, it's fine. They're gonna put it in the game. Uh, I mean, you can literally click a button and turn into Arthas Minithil. So I mean, hey. <laughs> uh, okay, anniversary takes place in November. So we can deduce that patch 8.25, but not patch 1.3, will be live by then. Uh, yeah, I would assume that. Uh, the mystery B-mount is finally coming. We're in about B-mount data mining. Post by uh, Blizzard. Uh, first introduced uh, World of Warcraft Cataclysm. Goblins and Wargons are getting a long-anticipated suite of visual updates uh, to their character models. Uh, these updates include every aspect of how the Wargon and Goblins look, uh, from their faces to their animations. So that also means if they count everything, that means they're going to uh, reevaluate the way their dicks are, which is really good. Uh, okay, 15th anniversary. Let's see here. This November marks the 15th anniversary of World of Warcraft, and we have some special things planned to celebrate the occasion. Players who log in during the event will receive a special celebration package in the mail with a little Nefarian pet and some other in-game goodies. Throughout the duration of the event, you'll be able to participate in three unique raids with iconic encounters in the past expansions with an old-school-inspired Alterac Valley Battleground. Wait. They didn't say what the unique grades were. No fucking way, dude. No fucking way, dude. No fucking way, dude. No fucking way, dude! No fucking way, dude. Are they actually gonna add Nax back? Are you fucking serious? I mean, I don't know. I don't know, but they're not saying it. And, and why would they not say it, but Nax is not unique? That is true. But CG is. Uh... 
Holy shit. Nine bosses? Where do they say nine bosses? Players who defeat all nine bosses in the Raid Wings will receive the Obsidian World Breaker, a Black Dragon Flight mount inspired by Deathwing. It's not inspired by Deathwing. It is Deathwing. What do you mean? It's literally Deathwing. Like, what are you talking about? That's Deathwing. It's not a... Come on, it's Deathwing. Okay, just a second. Uh, all nine bosses in the raid will receive the Obsidian Worldbreaker. What about the old Zugora? That's true. AQ40 has nine bosses? But it's raid... Wait. Unique raid with encounters. Think it's going to be more like a raid with mixed fights? I'm really excited to see what they're going to do. But if they actually are taking my idea from re-implementing Nax for a one year, a one, a one week or two week thing each year, holy fuck, that would be insane. Like, that would just be so crazy if they ended up doing that. Like, wow. Uh, AQ40 is almost unchanged the classic. That's very true. Uh, try raid max encounters. Yeah, anyway, let me go ahead and look at the rest of this. Old Nax with Master with Ninja Ashbringer. Hey, dude, relive the past, uh, in the right way. Uh, let's see. All track Valley will receive a new anniversary event currency, which can be exchanged for two new mounts, the Stormpike Battle Charger Alliance and a Frostwolf Snarl Snarler. So they're going to make a new... Holy fuck, this is awesome. Uh, a fuzzy buzzy mount. Uh, Alliance players rejoice. Stormsong Valley beekeepers have figured out how to grow them big enough to ride. Barry the beekeeper has some quests for you, so you should talk to him to get started on this honey of an adventure. New Time Walking Raid Firelands. When Cataclysm Time Walking is active, max level players will be able to form a raid group and, and enter the Sulfuron Spire once more. As with previous Time Walking Raids, your gear and power level are scaled to the challenge and all bosses and rewards will uh, you expect lie in wait. So, uh, Alliance only? Oh, I'm sorry, Horde. You have better racials. You're able to complete the Hall of Fame uh, Top 100. But suddenly, now, Alliance gets one little thing, and you're trying to already take it away from us. Disgusting. Fucking disgusting. The shamelessness of this is just horrible. Uh, actually, I need to do Kufan. Uh, remind me to do Kufan after this, uh, before we do the, uh, the raid. Uh, I want to get that done soon, though. I don't, don't want to fuck around for too long. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, the, yeah, Alliance, yeah, Horde has Kufan! Fuck you guys! Okay, introducing Party Sync. Okay, this is what's interesting. Uh, during this PTR, we're experimenting with a new mode that makes it easier for players in a party to do quests and play together, Party Sync. When players activate Party Sync, everyone in the party becomes aligned to do the same quest state, including phases. By mousing over a quest in your tracker, you can see who's on the quest, just what their progress is, and who's ready to turn in the quest. There's something, el there's something else we're going to try to uh, try out on the PTR, a replay quest feature. This will allow players who have already completed certain quests to replay those quests with their friends and re uh, for rewards that are appropriate for their current level, regardless of the original level for the quest. So does that mean that I can go back in Westfall and get Blanche's cloak? Titan Forge? For raiding? Oh, 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 there it is. People will exploit that shit? Yeah, I get a different reward. Well, I mean, like, I don't know. It depends on what the reward is. Uh, I think if they're going to do this, um, I don't actually, I don't know what, how the hell they should do this. Actually, I have no idea. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I mean, it seems like it's kind of a bad idea, unless you're just doing gold, you know? Spam best quest rewards until they go to legendary. Yeah, exactly, dude. Uh, Whirlwind Dax at 445. <laughs> hey, dude, with the socket, too. Why not? Holy shit, man. Uh, wow, cause, yeah, I know ESO has something that's like this. Thunder Fury at 120. Bro, I can only get so erect. That would be fucking amazing. Actually, no, it wouldn't. Who cares? Like, warriors now have so much AoE threat generation, you never lose aggro. That doesn't even fucking matter. Uh, okay, well, anyway, let, let's go look at the rest of these. Is this, is this rare up? Anybody have the rare up on their server? Let me go ahead and look. Harvester, all, all timeline. Fuck. Okay, uh, no, it doesn't seem like it's up there. Fuck. That's too bad. Okay, let me try again. So, uh, let's see here. We're also relaxing 
Level restrictions on queuing for instance content with your friends. This allows lower level players to queue for content in their level range, and higher level players to can choose to queue with them by, select, by having their level scaled down while they're in the instance. This feature will be available for dungeon instances on PTR Week 1, with PvP instances being flagged in the following weeks. Uh, I'm really kind of worried about them doing PvP instances. That... I, I don't think they should do that. Because, like, the tools that you have at, like, level 120 or whatever are so much more expansive than what you have at, like, like 30 or something like that. I, I, yeah, it's gonna be a fucking nightmare. I, I hope they do this for PvE. I mean, I don't really see the problem with that. It's fine. I mean, obviously, you're gonna have some people that are able to do more damage than they should. But at the end of the day, it's not really a big deal. Uh, cause, like, you can always give your friend a run through the dungeon directly and one-shot everything. So, I don't know how much that's really gonna diminish people's enjoyment of it, but whenever you're talking about PvP instances, I feel like that would be very unfair. Uh, let me go ahead and look at this here. Please note that unlike time walking, when your level is scaled down to be a party sync, you will temporarily lose access to abilities and powers, such as Azerite traits with requirements that exceed your reduced level. But you have like you have like your gems, you have your enchants, you have your trinkets, you have like I mean, th there's so much more to it than that. I mean, it, it, what happens to demon hunters? Yeah, uh, I mean, come on. Uh, l let's see, more scaling. Yeah, so can twinks. No, they. Come on, guys. Please note that unlike time walking, whenever you're scaling down, there's gonna be things that you're gonna be able. All right. Is there anybody who's stupid enough in this chat to think that there aren't going to be items that you can use whenever you're scaled down that will be extremely powerful? I mean, come on. Come on, we all know this is going to happen. Let's not pretend to be stupid here, okay? Uh, every Legion Legendaries. Uh, I don't know. Uh, there's plenty of other examples, though. Um, let me see here. Oh, I actually got I got it up on my server. Uh, I'll make a group for you guys. Everybody's going to eat today. Asma Gold, Arachnid Harvester. Okay, a minimum. I don't know, 300. Okay, uh, join up if you want to come kill the rare, okay, guys? Uh, it's over on Mechagon War Mode Off. Uh, the Party Sync thing is actually a great idea because it makes all content from older content relevant again. Yeah, I mean, I think that Blizzard's really careful and, like, worried about, like, making content from, like, let's say, uh, Westfall relevant. It, it's like, imagine if there was a quest in Red Ridge Mountains that was, like, really easily completable and the gear could Titan Forge up really high. And instead of, like, method farming heroic on the first week, every single player would faction change over to Alliance just to repeat that same quest over and over and over. Tag it? Yeah, I got it, guys. Thanks. Um, it's fine. Uh, thank you. Yeah, Runko shoulder piece last week. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did hear about that. Uh, let's see, it's not going to happen like that. I don't think that it will, and so I hope that it won't, right? And uh, I, I don't think that it will. I think Blizzard's going to be smarter than that, but you never know whenever something's going to just kind of slip by them on accident. So uh, hopefully they're able to know that and uh, make sure to avoid making that happen or allowing that to happen. They're copying the sync from Final Fantasy XIV. Good. I want to see them steal more ideas from these other games. Like, people really like these other games, like Final Fantasy, etc. Uh, Blizzard should be stealing their ideas left and right. That's what used to make WoW great, is that WoW would steal all the good ideas from the bad MMOs and make their MMO better. It was like a uh, like an amalgamation. And uh, the problem is then they started stealing all the bad ideas. And uh, that's whenever shit started going downhill. Where the fuck is my Pepsi? Fuck, I thought I put it in the refrigerator. Shit, now I gotta drink it raw. Just a second. Okay. Fuck. Alright, that's the way it goes, guys, I guess. That's life. Uh, alrighty. You ever gonna do, uh, well, shit, I sorry, I couldn't read that so fast. Uh, okay. So it's going to be trinkets that downscale to be more powerful, giving you utility that most classes don't have at that level. Uh, I, I really kind of worry about this downscaling for PvP. Uh, I, I don't think that they should even do that, personally. It's just going to cause too many problems. But, uh, you know, maybe they'll do it right. I don't think that they will. It also creates a lot of problems, too, because, like, 
Uh, it states you can't, though? No, it's... Oh, Jesus Christ. I can't even explain this because people are so stupid. Uh, okay, it doesn't state that you can't. It states that you don't have abilities and powers. Trinkets are not abilities or powers. Like, there's gonna always be that one thing that you can use. Like, come on, guys. Let, let's be realistic. Uh, do you think BFA is worse than WAD? No, of course not. No, BFA is not worse than WAD. Fuck no, it's not. Like, anybody that, that says that probably didn't play WAD. Or they don't play BFA. Then they just repeat what they've heard. No, it's not worse than WAD. Fuck no, it's not. Okay, do you have a favorite shirt? No. Uh, okay, let's see. Oh, well, actually, I did. I did have one, but the rats ate it in my, in my garage. So, uh, you know, fuck me, right? Uh, recruiter Friend Returns. Coming in 8.2.5 is a revamped Recruiter Friend system. If you have active game time, you'll be able to recruit your friends, both brand new to the game and returning champions, to share in your adventurers. To do so, you'll be able to use a new URL generation tool to create a custom link to give to your friends. By following the link, you'll be connected to each other and be able to see if you've purchased game time, resulting in more rewards for you. Uh, uh, please use uh, code, a code Asmongold for, to give me rewards. So this is great because I can create a link and then that link I can give it to you guys and everybody can start playing the game and I'll get all the rewards on day one. This is fucking awesome. Yeah, fuck yeah. Th this is great. I mean, I I I'm going to be able to abuse the fuck out of this. I I I'm excited. Uh, okay, uh, you'll earn new rewards such as unique mounts, pets, game time. Wait, you can get game time? Holy fuck, dude. That's insane. If my dad was still paying my sub... He would be so happy because that would be fifteen dollars he didn't have to spend, and he'd get. My dad gets bent out of shape about sixty cents, okay? So uh, listen, like he'd be so goddamn happy. Uh, the pyramid scheme? Well, I love pyramid schemes as long as I'm on the top. This sounds fucking great. These rewards unlock per month and scale with how many mounts your recruits have subscribed. How many months your recruits have subscribed for? They're actually doing a creator code. Holy fuck, dude. I'm gonna abuse the fuck out of this. Just trying to get all this other stuff in order first, okay? You don't like storm mounts, but you'd recruit yourself? Uh, yeah. I mean, like, it's not... The thing is, like, I wouldn't actually do that. I didn't do it, right? I recruit, like, my friend. I recruited my mom. I recruited Jeff, right? I, I never did that myself. But yeah, that's what you would do. Of course that's what you would do. Like, the thing is, like, I actually did have friends. And the best thing about Jeff for example, is that Jeff would delete his account and forget the password every six months. So I would be able to recruit him for the other mounts. It was easy. Mm. Do the 18-hour stream on a Tuesday so you have infinite content? That's a really good idea. I like that a lot. Still on second account. Uh, pay tokens for it? Yeah, exactly. Content recruit my mom. Uh, nice shirt, bro. How long has it been a week yet? Yeah, it's been a week, bro. 100%. So let me look at the rest of these patch notes here. See if there's anything else that's worth looking at. Okay, uh, Recruiter Friend Revamp will have more information whenever Recruiter Friend rewards whenever it gets closer to its release. Okay, uh, this is great. So Recruiter Friend is going to get merged with Old School of Resurrection. That seems to be the case. Glad they chose Firelands for time walking instead of Dragon Soul. I think everybody is. Uh, we're going to update it tomorrow on the PTR. Oh, great. Jesus Christ. Okay, all right, let's see here. Uh, Dragon Souls wasn't good. Party Sync sounds interesting, but where it can lead, I don't like it very much. Yeah, I, I, I share this this concern here. Shaping up to be a really nice micro patch. Finally get the HD Worgen and Goblin models. Yeah, I mean, this is a really good micro patch already if they make all this shit happen. Uh, okay, let's see here. The Final Fantasy Copy Rift. I wonder if the B-Mount is going to be like Coupon's Harness whenever you unlock it on Alliance, but it can be used on Horde. It should be. That's the way that it should be. Uh, so what are you guys most excited for about this? Let me ask you guys. What are you guys most excited for? The B-Mount? I'm actually the most excited for the, the anniversary event. Uh, I, I'm, I'm very, very excited for this right here. Uh, the other stuff, like the B-Mount, cool. I don't know. To me, it's like everybody's probably going to have it. It's not a big deal. Uh, no, let's see. Firelands is going to be cool, but we'll probably only do it like twice. 
Uh, we're gonna gobble character models. Yeah, same thing. Uh, let's see. Uh, not everybody gives a shit. I don't know. I, I think like if you don't like, I mean, if you don't care about any of this stuff, like I don't know why you even play the game. You know what I mean? But like, uh, let's see. What what can I do to reach the quality of classical TVC? Well, I mean, like it, it's a it's a work in progress, right? I mean, they they're not just gonna like Rome wasn't built in the day. I mean, they're gonna have to spend a lot of time in order to. Uh, yeah, I mean that's the thing is like if you don't like anything about the game, why do you play the game? I mean, like, I I, I don't. Know, it doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, but anyway, like, so, uh, the party sync thing, I feel like this is gonna be, uh, you know, it's really kinda hit or miss. Uh, I think if Blizzard does it right, it could be great. If they don't do it right, it could suck. I mean, you know, obviously. Uh, Recruiter Friend Returns, this is gonna be great, especially if I can get paid for it. Uh, that, that would be amazing. That would be, like, the best part about it. But, uh, either way, uh, I, I would obviously, uh, like to see what this has in store. Uh, I thought, always thought Recruiter Friend was a good idea. I'm surprised they got rid of it, so this is good as well, too. Uh, can you watch the new Nixium video? It's on 8.2. Uh, how long is it?